Hey, hey. Oh, it's me. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, no Wednesday talk this weekend. Gonna put another one out for the sharpening guys. Hopefully, people will pick up on what's going on. If they don't, not my fault. I'm just gonna put the information out there and let them go with it. Multi spur bits. Yay! Yay! <coughs> Yay! Come on, lady. Yay! <laughs> Let's get to the video. <laughs> I used to do these by a box full. Lars will tell you, he's been in here. Yep, then we quit doing them for a little bit and yeah. now they're back. Yeah, they swore, that company swore up and down. We're done with them, here we go again. Exactly. After I, you know, changed all my tool in the room. But hey, we'll get it done. Just thought this would be a Cool little video for sharpening guys to see how I do this crap. It's not the exact right way, but I've done so many of them, man. I can pretty much freehand them and get them where they need to go. But here we go. All right, guys, we're going to show you how to sharpen these multi spur bits. People call these fasteners, they call them all kind of names, but it's a multi-spur bit. All the little cutting spurs and then two chip lifters. Uh, I got a big three inch over here, but that thing is, I don't have to call it to hold it. So we're gonna play with this. Lars got it. There's the three inch bit. But they used to have five eighths on the back of this and they've changed them to seven eighths. So I don't have a seven eighths call it. So we're gonna show you how to do these on some little two inch. And uh, hey, pay attention. I'm only gonna show you 15 times. All right, first off, you want to lock this into your collet where these are 90 degrees to the wheel. Past that, man, this is inconsequential. We've got to, what we're going to do is show you how to set this up. Zero hook, if it'll focus, right? And we're gonna come off that about a quarter inch, which is gonna give us a 10 degree face angle. And we're gonna raise the wheel up and down to get us, dang it, focus, focus. Which is gonna get us about 10 degrees angle in here. Somebody else has already sharpened this thing. But I think you can see right there where it's cock back but hey we're going to show you how to do this pay attention sharpening guys these are money makers all right all right guys so we manipulated our center to the center of what we're cutting right so we're getting a 10 degree bending on the back and then we manipulated the wheel out so we're getting 10 degrees here. So just hang in, here we go.
turn nine. Lock her back on center. Bring her up on 10 degrees. And here we go. Oop, I missed it by one. Raise the wheel up. That's in the bottom. All right. Let's get it up here. We need 15 to 20 thousandths on this chip look. All right. Let's see if we can get a shot down here. Put a shirt down on it. It's not going to show it up. There you go. I think you can see it. But you need 20 thousandths on this chip lifter lower than the cutting teeth. Um, and that's about it. Let's get this thing out of here and show you what's going on. Alright guys. I don't know. I want to get as close as I can. But there you go. Um, we, you know, we got a 10 degree, dang it, it, it's focusing on something else. There we go. We got a 10 degree face bevel. We've got a 10 degree top bevel. Everything's even all the way around. We got the chip lifter 20 thousandths lower than the cutting teeth. Maybe you can see. Um, uh, that thing's going to boil like crazy. One thing a lot of people get wrong on these bits is they think grinding this face is the best way to go or grinding this face. No. This bit is designed to be ground from the top to the bottom. But you will eventually run out of room back here. Um... What else? I don't think that's about it. Um, but yeah, you don't grind the faces. I do it just, just to clean them up and make them shiny. But it's top down every time. There you go. Hey y'all, welcome over here to JB's Sharpening Incorporated. That's right. Oh, he's incorporated and he does sharpen it. If you need your stuff sharpened, bring it on over here to JB. Because he might sharpen it, he might not sharpen it. It might be so dang sharp, you might cut your own finger off. If you cut your finger off, we're not liable for you cutting your finger off. That's right, we got fingers and we cut them off. All right, send them over here to JB. Damn it. That's all for this one, guys. I appreciate y'all watching this right here. I know you had better things to do, but you didn't have nothing better to do than watch this video right here. JB, thanks you over there, too, and we appreciate y'all watching. We got sharpening stuff going on. If you like sharpening, watch it. And if you don't, then don't watch it, because JB's over there, and I'm right here. And then we, if you watch the videos, you'll see both of us. He ain't got nothing to say, but I do, and I'm going to tell you right now. If you like watching the videos, keep on watching. Thank y'all, guys. We'll see you next time. What do you got to say? He ain't got nothing to say, but I'll tell you right now. Thanks for watching.